Hello, YouTube, and hello, car collectors around. This is Hot Corner Company. Through the next uh, 13 cars, I'm going to get graded by BGS. Uh, this will probably be the last submission I'm going to do for a while. It's just getting pretty expensive, and, you know, I got to live, so I, I can't keep spending money. Also, the wife is kind of uh, bugging me about it. Might do less quantities for, for, for a little while. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys uh, the 13, and then also I wanted to show you guys a couple of the cards in my PC that I've gotten graded throughout the years. Uh, you know, some really good grades, some okay grades, but the cards themselves mean more to me than anything, so I, I just like to show off some of the PC. Uh, started all off, uh, very nice uh, Top's Finest Orange of uh, Don Mattingly. I think that's pretty awesome. This one is numbered uh, 16 of 25. I did buy it raw and then got it graded myself. Nice grade. Um, next one, uh, I brought this guy out because he's one of my favorite, uh, Chris Bryant, but this has a little story. This is my first ever 10 grade, uh, not a black 10, unfortunately, but still almost, uh, got dinged on the corners, 9.5 in the corners. Uh, also I did get this as a redemption in a pack and, you know, I had to wait a few months for it to show up and I really didn't think it was going to grade very well because it's a five star not having the best history on grading, um, cause they're just thick cards, very thick cards. Uh, but almost got it perfect. That's awesome. I was very excited. Great, great pickup for the PC. Um, another one. Uh, this is an awesome card of Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, I do like the PC him a lot. Uh, he's not my main PC, but he's one of my favorite. Uh, 23 or 25. This is the Topps Tribute uh, Rifle Recognition Auto Orange version. That's an awesome card. So I got dinged on the edges the most. Cool. Um, let me go in the stack. Uh, some of these guys you might know, some you might not. Uh, definitely anyone who was born in the 80s and 90s will know most of these people. Uh, and then, of course, you know, just big collectors will know them. Uh, first, we're going to do a heavy hitter here. I actually pulled this out of a pack in uh, 1993. Um, didn't even know he was a really good player then because he was a rookie. Uh, and then uh, I decided to get it graded. Uh, did not expect it to grade very well. I got a 7.5, which is pretty good based on what card this is. But it also is most about Jesus. You know, it's a very iconic card for the, the just the card world in general. So it's a nice pickup or pull. Uh, very nice uh, tribute. All about the colors matching the cards and the jersey and the guys. So an awesome tops tribute. Uh, I purposely bought the blue one. Uh, 18 of 50, Edgar Martinez. That's awesome. The blue and the blue ink and then the blue outfit too. It's pretty, it's like a triple thread. Uh, let's see, 9.5 and 10 for the auto. Uh, next one, green on green, Dave Stewart, 2 of 25. I did get dinged on the auto. I mean, it's, he's wrote right off the, the card, so... But I love the matching colors, and he was a great pitcher for the A's in that time period. Um, awesome. This guy's really good. He's one of my favorite Cubs right now. He's doing very well. Uh, but uh, Jason Hayward, uh, 5 of 15. Uh, this is the gold version tribute. It's gorgeous shine to that. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, I did actually find this card in one of my old boxes. Like like most collectors, I like to go through my old common boxes with my common cards and see if I miss anything. Um, or I actually have a, a section in my card room that has a whole bunch of just random autograph guys of, you know, no-name autographs. And then I found this guy, uh, Max Muncy. We started doing really good last year, hitting home runs and stuff in the home run derby. Uh, so I actually didn't know he even had this. I, looked, I went through my autograph section in my drawer over here and found it. It was awesome, very excited. And I don't think he has signed much during his rookie year. So this is probably one of his only autographed cards out there. Awesome card of him, Thur uh, Max Muncy for the Dodgers. And the iconic, infamous, I have two of these, but this is one of my favorites to show, so I'm gonna show it anyways. But the infamous Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. Um, believe it or not, I did not pull this out of a pack, and I bought a lot of Upper Deck that year and never pulled one of these. And, uh, you know, I, I had to buy it. I actually bought a slab, too, already at a card show a few years ago. A nice King of Junior rookie. Next one is one I pulled out of a pack. I didn't even know it was numbered at what it's numbered at. 
Uh, but an awesome Tim Lunsicum 101. This is the 2008 Tops uh, Moments and Milestones Red Version 101. Tim Lunsicum. Awesome card. One of my very few 101s I've pulled out throughout the years. Uh, I purposely was hunting this next card because I wanted a good autograph and a card of him, especially on the Orioles. I just kind of remember him a lot more on the Orioles than on the Yankees. But a nice autograph, uh, five-star Mike Mussina. This one is numbered three of 35. Awesome five-star. And I believe this is the first year of five-stars. So these had the most issues on corners and stuff like that coming out of the box. So I got a good one. And actually, I thought it graded pretty well for a five-star. Gorgeous card. 10 on the auto on that, too. Um, next one I pulled out of a pack. Uh, I don't. It was actually a redemption, I believe. And, uh, yeah, I was very excited. Uh, my Cubs won the World Series in 2016, and about a month or two later, I pulled this out of a pack. Well, uh, Wilson Contreras Auto, 15 of 50 with Patch in the, cor in the corner, too. That's really gorgeous. World Series, 2016. And then I held on to it for a couple of years, and maybe a few months ago, I decided to get it graded, and it actually graded a 10-10, which I, I could not believe it. So uh, it just one of the, I guess I preserved it pretty well. Uh, almost got a black 10, as you can see, uh, 9.5 in the corners. And no, I have never, ever gotten a black 10 back from BGS, so they are extremely hard to get. Uh, the last two of these BGS cards that I have in my PC are just really sentimental. Actually, one is a PSA, because I wanted to show you guys that I don't just do BGS. I have some, a little bit of PSA. But this first one is a nice uh, Topps uh, Triple Threads Blue Version 3 of 3 Ryan Sandberg. That's a gorgeous blue on blue. I've been eyeing this one online for a couple months, and the guy wouldn't budge on his price. So, and I finally just said, okay, I'm going to do it, because I just needed it. So... I paid the price and got it graded. I bought it raw and had it graded, and it almost graded perfect. Well, not almost, but close. 9.5 and a 10 on the auto on that. Beautiful blue. And the final one, which is a PSA. I know I'm kind of changing it up, but I want to show you guys a heavy hitter that I pulled a couple years ago with one of my friends. I was on the hunt, and it's the only one I have of him, but my only autograph of Michael Jordan. Look at that. I did have a PSA. I did send it in, submit it myself because, uh, you know, I just feel like he deserved PSA. Uh, PSA, I think, is more known for, you know, uh, older vintage and just people that will never be forget forgotten in, in history. I mean, Jordan was, I still think, the best basketball player ever. I mean, I know someone's going to debate with me on that one because they probably LeBron's good. I think LeBron's awesome, but Jordan is my favorite. Uh, 16 of 23, SP Authentic, Michael Jordan Auto on his on his letter jersey. Isn't that cool? And he's got a 10 on the PSA. Gem Mint. All right, guys, let me show you real quick uh, the cards I wanted to get submitted. The next 13 cards. Uh, and if you're asking me why I, I choose 13, it's because the sheet of paper I fill out at the store has 13 spots. I know, it kind of sounds kind of funny, but it just figured right to me. Um, first one, the Topps Living Set Mike Trout. I actually did purchase this from Topps website recently because I just I had to have it. Uh, gorgeous trout card. Hopefully it'll grade well. Um, next one is the Ken Griffey Jr., which I opened on a mail day a couple weeks ago. So I have to do that one because I just love the drawing of him. I think he's one of my favorite. I am going to try and grade the Ozzy Smith I got on a mail day too because I just love Finest and I think this will grade really well, and especially in that outfit and his auto right there. I mean, can you imagine it being... A 10 with that nice uh, like gold plaque above it. I think it'll look pretty hot. Um, then we're going to go a couple rookies that I picked up throughout the last few months that are kind of hot rookies. But a nice mojo of Jordan Alvarez, which is for the Astros. I think he's really good. Uh, I'm A nice uh, Atomic of uh, Eloy Jimenez, his rookie, Bowman Chrome. I thought that was pretty awesome. I got that at a card store, I believe. Uh, very cheap for it, too, so I wanted to get a grade. I don't have any of Eloy's grades, and I think he's going to be just a great player for the White Sox for many years. Next one. Uh, the one that I think probably should have won the Home Run Derby, but uh, Vladimir Guru Jr. Mojo. I think that's pretty cool. wanted to get one of the graded of him. I don't have any grades of him yet. Uh, I also pulled this out of pack, too. I got the short print uh, Mojo as well, so I was going to get him 
both graded and put them side by side somewhere in a display probably in the future. I thought that was a pretty cool pickup. And then we got Tatis Jr., one of my favorite. I wanted him to work, win Rookie of the Year. Unfortunately, he's now out for the season with a, some sort of back issue. Uh, he's a great player. I think he has a lot of like pizzazz, too. He just knows how to strut his stuff on the bases. Yeah, I think he's even better than his father, unfortunately. But he's a great player. Uh, next one, the one who's probably going to win Rookie of the Year, Peter Alonzo. Guy's a beast. He just hits home runs left and right. I think he's going to be a Met for a long time. Peter Alonzo, Mojo. And then, of course, I had to do one of this. Guy's probably my best one I've pulled so far of him. But a nice Wander Franco. Uh, I heard he's number one on the, the prospect list now. And he's only like 18 years old. So he's got he's going to be a Ray forever, I think. I can't wait until they bring him up. I just can't wait for his first starting game and see how good he does. Uh, then we're going to go a little bit different. Uh, I did pick this one up. I purposely bought the brown version because I like the brown on brown. 34 of 35, Will Clark, Tops Tribute. I'm getting it graded because I have quite a few other ones, and I'm going to sooner or later probably put them all in a display case together, all the, all, and you'll have to check that out. It's trying to be a lot of shine. Uh, next one is a surprise. I did not plan on picking up this, but it's such a low price online that I went for it. But an awesome red finest hour of Barry Larkin, 2 of 5. I love Barry Larkin. He's I think he's one of my favorite reds of all time, him and Johnny Bench. And he's so underrated, and his cards are really not that expensive. Um, to give you an example, I got this card for 30 bucks, And, I mean, I think it's worth a few hundred dollars, honestly, uh, especially if it grades really well. But gorgeous red on red, Barry Larkin. And the final one, I did have to do one of my boy, kind of make a tradition, do one of my Samberg guy. Uh, but I'm doing an awesome gold frame Ryan Samberg uh, definitive edition. Or definitive collection, I believe it's called. An awesome card. And it should grade really well. The framed out framed out part is... Oh, it's got adhesive on the corner. Look at that. I just noticed that. I hope that's just tape. Well, I'll work on that. And we'll see if, it, if it's just tape or not. Um, but yeah, that's my submission for the next BGS. Uh, I hope you guys like that. I hope you like the cards that I showed you. I think this is uh, one of my favorite cards in my collection. Just want to show that to you guys. I've never shown you that before. And I do do PSA just to show you guys that it's not just BS, BGS. All right. Until then, guys, keep collecting.